Okay, we're just going to do a hide unselected so you can see what we've built so far. And let's go to... Let's right-click this and go to Options. Make it non-see-through. There's really not that much there. But I want to show you uh, one last thing before I stop this tutorial. So I'm going to take all these faces on this side and delete them. And you can see that it's pretty straight here. This is basically half of the model, right? So I'm going to grab this edge here, or any edge along the seam, and I'm going to go in and add mo from the modifier list, I'll go in and find the symmetry modifier. Okay, the symmetry modifier. And so I'll say that I want it to go along the y-axis. And then I can hit flip because it disappeared, didn't it? I picked the wrong axis, so I should have picked Z. But you can see that now I've got my model back. And uh, let's say you want to do some more work on the model. But you only want to work on you want to only want to model half of it. So what you can do is go back to editable poly. Now it disappeared, didn't it? You have to be in symmetry to see it. But you have to be in editable poly to model it, right? So I'll go to editable poly and I'll use this little button here, which is the see end results or show end results button. And you see this little orange mesh that's all over your original model, that original model half? We can go to way down here, scroll way down until you get to subdivision surface, I think it is, and you hit show cage and turn that off. So I'll turn that off, but you have to remember that you're in editable poly mode with show and results turned on and symmetry being applied. Now let's say that you get the model done and you don't want the symmetry modifier to be there anymore. Let's say you're ready to rig it or whatever. You can right click this symmetry and just collapse all. But I'm not ready to do that. What I want to show right now is that if I click on something over here Let's pick on a face, and I'll just grab this face here, and let's say we're going to build something with it. I'm going to go to Bevel, and do you see how it bevels both sides at once? That's the benefit of the symmetry modifier. You make a change, it changes everywhere. Or let's say that you want to move a vertex. Got this vertex, but it really needs to come up, and it does it on both sides. So really, good thing to use whenever you've got something symmetrical like a car, like a person. Symmetry works really well, even on a face or a head. It's going to save you a lot of time. Okay, so we'll pick this thing up in the next tutorial.